Hello guys, this is Santosh and uh, welcome to Tech Design. So you can see here, this is a model uh, which we can use it for uh, three bend corner. So three bend corner command can be used only when uh, there are three bends that are uh, mating each other. You can see here there is one bend and uh, second and third bend over here. So they are mating each other and uh, you can see the flanges are you know overlapping each other. So in this in this case, uh, we can use a three bend corner and how it can be useful. Uh, in this model we can see it now so now uh, you can see here there is a three pin corner command over here usually this command uh, is removed from the shortcut in nx19 and higher versions so you cannot able to see it in this group so you can go to menu insert and a corner here so inside the corner you can see three pin corner so i have dragged them and uh, put it over here to in order to show you so now uh, i'll just go to three pin corner and as soon as you go to three pin corner you can see here bend to close so it is asking for a bends uh, for me to select so you need to select two bends so these are the two bends where the flanges are you know overlapping each other so i'm going to select these two uh, bends so as soon as you select the bend you can see here there is a line which is created so this is not a line actually it trims the extra flanges so if i click ok so you can see here the whatever the extra overlapping flanges will be trimmed off and you can see the exactly they are matching mating each other so this is how you can use the three bend corner guys so and also there are many other applications and many other options over here suppose if you see here there is an open and uh, now what i'll do is i'll just give closed so suppose if you give a closed you can see here it will try to close this bend so but anyway it, we cannot able to close it completely because we need some uh, you know corner relief in order to work with uh, sheet metal so we can give some meter radius here and give some inputs and keep uh, you know flange clearance and you can just click okay in order to create this uh, closed uh, corner but usually these closed corner will not be recommended only open and other options are recommended here so now we can go to circular cutout so circular cutout as a name suggests it gives a circular way of you know cutout on the uh, corner so what i'll do is you can see here bend center so we have a diameter here so i'll just give the diameter to 10 okay so as soon as i give a 10 mm uh, diameter you can see here there is a circle which is being created here at the center of this corner so this is how we can use it and uh, there will be a circle suppose if you are going to you know um, unbend all the flanges and you can see in the flat pattern view there will be a circle here okay so either if you want to offset it from uh, this center you can just give the value over here suppose there are other option also center uh, central point so suppose if you want to you can see here this is the center so these two lines whatever they are mating each other that will become a center so usually you can keep it as a bend center so bend center is nothing but this center so all these three bend centers wherever it uh, you know uh, matches uh, the circle center will be going to align over there so this is how it works and down then, then we have a u shape of cutout so when you once you give a u shape of cutout you can see here and the diameter is 10 mm so it looks like this when you you know um uh, make a unflattened uh, view so flattened view then you can able to see the u shape and also we have a v shape and the v shape also uh, it looks like same and uh, we have a diameter and uh, angle one and angle two so this is the angle one and the angle two suppose if you increase it to 40 mm you can can see 40 mm has been increased here so always keep it uh, low in order to you know make it good uh, so when you see this uh, by doing it you know um, a flattened view you can see the uh, v-shape so once you click ok you can see uh, the tree bend corner has been generated whatever the flange extra flange is there in all the you know um, corner types you can see here open all the corners type whatever the flanges that are extra are overlapping to each other uh, they will be trimmed off and the shape whatever you will select uh, that will be um, maintained over here so hope you understand guys uh, i think uh, these commands are not available in the main window so you can just dig in so whenever you are required you can just go to menu insert and corner options so there you can see uh, three bend corners hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys uh, please stay tuned and subscribe to my channel thank you